Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Montero. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Pisces. How are you guys? Hope you're all doing well. Pisces, see what's going on with you. Pisces singles. Who's interested in you? New love prospects or connections? Let's see if there's anyone around here, Pisces. New love prospects or connections for Pisces. Who's interested in Pisces or vice versa? Here we go. Yeah. Some of you are kind of moving away from someone here. You're kind of moving on, relocating, maybe even take, thinking of taking a trip or planning something. You're looking out there. Yeah, you've got an offer. Whatever it is you're waiting for is coming. I see an offer being planted. Ooh, teamwork, cooperation. This is somebody quite compatible. Someone wants to get to know you more. This is an energy of kind of waiting to see how things go. Okay, this could be something you've been waiting for, but it's about the one. Okay, that's about finding the one, the right person. Uh, someone who's compatible but I see that ace of pentacles there so yeah you've got uh, someone here Pisces definitely a fire sign energy Aries Leo Sag maybe a Scorpio So somebody who wants to build something here and I do feel they're ready to cooperate and compromise this is someone who could be someone that, you know, wants to collaborate. They may offer you some kind of creative job or something, okay, because <laughs> they want to get to know you. Yeah, look at that. There you are, Pisces. Whew. It's definitely, they could be a Scorpio. That water right beside them, which is yours. That's you, Queen of Cups. You want someone who reciprocates. I feel like you're open to this, to be honest. I actually think you're, this person is going to offer you something. Uh, it could be something creative. They want to collaborate, okay? Uh, so this is interesting energy. Uh, and I do feel, ooh, look at that. Yeah, holding back a little bit. Could be somebody who's watching you from a distance, too. This could be yourself holding back a little in protective mode. Yeah, this person's coming in to take action, though. Oh, yeah. This is someone who's coming in to take action. This is someone who fights for what they want. I actually feel like this person wants to have a little fun, but you are I feel like you're kind of holding back a bit. Uh, you're not really budging right now. You want this person to take action. <laughs> you want them to come in and fight for what they want. Yeah, you're a little bit worried here. This person's going to kind of rush in and rush out again. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing it. I, I'm seeing a person who um, is a little bit in protective mode, a little bit stuck. They might be a little bit stubborn, uh, but I actually feel this is more your energy. I feel like you're holding back in protective mode. You want this person to take action, but there could be some obstacles or challenges. You may feel like there's competition. I think they do to be honest. But I do th see this energy of uh, the Knight of Wands, a little Sag energy. Yeah, a little worry about reciprocity. You're not so sure here if you want to reciprocate to this person. Uh, if they're going to give you what you want, you're a little worried they're going to breadcrumb. I think this person... See, this has to do with lack of reciprocity. You want someone who reciprocates. So, yeah, you don't want somebody just breadcrumbs. They rush in and rush out. They only contact you when they want attention. So it's about justice and balance, doing what's right for yourself. You may feel like this person's not right for you. I do see uh, challenges as obstacles to do with uh, whether you're compatible or not. Okay. So let's see what this Six of Swords is about. You know, you got a person doing a little soul searching. So someone on a little spiritual journey, kind of contemplating something here. Okay. So someone on their own path, they make choices for themselves. Yeah, it's definitely a physical attraction. This is about the one, okay? This is someone who's looking for the one. And they're contemplating whether you're the right person or not. There are some obstacles, like there's, you know, I do see it. I do see possibly this person feels you're not compatible, okay? <sighs> yeah, could be yourself. You may feel like they're not. It kind of looks like it's you. Or there's something here, you know, to do with that. Yeah, tradition, habit, belief, behavior, the way they conduct themselves, uh, their habits, the way they live their life. 
I feel like it's you. I feel like you're contemplating. I do find, I think this person's very sexy, very attractive. Maybe they're at a distance. Maybe you feel like this, if they're at a distance as travel, they won't be faithful. Okay. Um, but I actually feel it's about waiting faithfully here for something. Um, I think you're going to just see, wait and see how things go. So let's see what this Ace of Pentacles is about. Oops, there we go. Yeah, some kind of truth and success. Uh, we have three aces here right now. This is a this is a good sign. This is someone who wants to get to know you. Maybe that's what you need. You need to get to know this person. Maybe they're at a distance and you're not sure they'll be faithful. No, uh, you're not so sure how you feel. Like if you want to, you should reciprocate. You feel like this person will kind of just rush in and out for, you know, some fun, some attention, some action, and then breadcrumb you. So it has to do with justice and balance, playing fair, whether this person's right for you or not. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so we have this person who's rushing in, anxious and impatient, uh, chasing after you. This is somebody who will chase. They'll go after someone. <laughs> they're coming towards you. They're anxious and impatient. Yeah, they're very strong and very confident. Okay, they're taming the beast within themselves. And it has to do with that passionate connection, that physical attraction. Okay, maybe you want this to take a little more time to get to know this person because you're not so sure you're on the same page. Uh, but I do see you kind of waiting. Uh, maybe this person kind of keeps you waiting. You don't see them very often. You know, there's a lot going on. But I, if you've just met someone here, and I do feel like this feels something fairly new for some of you where this person like you're not sure they're compatible uh, with you or they're going to cooperate or compromise if you're on the same page or same path that you want the same thing so make sure you do okay don't be afraid to question this energy uh, or this offer but i do i do think this person wants to have success i feel uh, it's like they don't want you to get away so they're taming the beast they're going to slow down they're not going to rush they're going to cooperate and compromise you see so you feel one way and they're feeling another way queen of cups what is this energy here with the queen of cups yeah see this is that energy of kind of waiting looking out there is this the one or is there more out there you know is this person right for you or not should you reciprocate uh, i feel as though you feel like if you re if you reciprocate uh, with this person that they're going to take off they're just going to rush in quickly for some fun so i do see you being a little guarded uh, yeah, kind of waiting to see how things go, though. Yeah, see, it's a, you're waiting to see here. I feel as though there's this energy of this person who just comes in when they want attention. You know, they have, they, you know, they're ruled by their ego. They just want attention. They just want to have that success, and then they get what they want and they take off. So you're very much in protective mode. Okay. Yeah, I see this energy. A lot of talk. This person coming in very quickly. A lot of passion. A lot of fire uh, coming in. Uh, of the blue why is the five of wands here why is this five of wands here yeah i think you just want to keep things simple uh, I do feel like it is a crush kind of energy. Some of you have a couple of choices. You may have a few people giving you attention. Okay, I think this person's wondering if you are giving your attention to someone else or if you're kind of waiting for them. Uh, but I actually think they want to cooperate and compromise. I think it's yourself that's not sure you're compatible or, um, you know, you're on this little journey and kind of feel like you should distance yourself from this person. If they are at a distance, I know that can be a struggle yeah you're kind of thinking of walking away maybe looking for someone else kind of looking out there you know, there's a lack of emotional fulfillment here someone's walking away from something though disting themselves i think this person's coming towards you i gotta tell you i you know i gotta tell you pisces i think this person really does want to have success uh, i do and i feel as though uh, they're going through something here where they're about the way they conduct themselves, the way they behave. I'll tell you one thing. Don't wait for somebody. 
don't wait. If someone keeps you waiting, don't wait. Go out and get attention elsewhere. And I think that's what this person's thinking. They don't want you to get away. I actually feel this person's going to show you that they like you. They're taming the beast, that passion, that need to rush in and out. Okay. And I do feel that they are planning and they want to have success. You're just waiting to see how things go. But here they come talking and I feel they're going to say some very sweet things to you. And I think you're a little worried about that too, that they're kind of breadcrumbing. Uh, they're saying sweet things, you know. Uh, it's also about, uh, you know, and they're going to give you something. It's sentimental. It's some kind of energy of keeping things simple. Uh, they may give you a simple gift, something sentimental to show you something, their way of reciprocating. But I feel like for you, you're not so sure. Uh, I really do. Aw. Tell me about this communication. There's this energy of looking at the details, looking at this communication very carefully. Yeah, you're not so sure if you see a future with this person. If you have children, I feel there may be obstacles or challenges. Maybe they have children. Maybe you're worried that, you know, they don't have enough time uh, to give you the attention you want. Okay, you may be, or you have children. You may be a single parent. Queen of Pentacles is a lot of time a single person. Pisces, someone very practical, stable, grounded. You're looking into the future. If they have children, you may not be sure if you, okay, you either want them or you don't. Uh, depends who you are in this reading. This is about the future, yeah. See, so taking the time to get to know someone who's at a distance here. Um, I, I gotta tell you, I think there's someone you're gonna stop talking to. Uh, and I, I, some of you got a, there's a couple of energies here, but it feels like the one person to me. But I see you taking lessons you've learned. Uh, you're moving away to avoid a disaster. And I do think there's something about distance. Distancing yourself or they're at a distance. Two cards of transition. So yeah, you're, I, I think you're going to stop giving to someone. They rush in and rush out. Um, maybe they have children. They don't have enough time to... Uh, give you the attention you want so you kind of feel here I think that you're going to move away from this person you're going to stop giving uh, it's definitely an ego stop feeding this person's ego by waiting uh, yeah you're taking off you're, you're in your power you're taking control of this situation you're not going to let your emotions control you uh, they may try little ways to control this situation by sweet talking you, things like that as well. So there's obstacles, challenges, maybe some kind of argument. I see you taking off in another direction, okay, uh, very quickly. This person's got an ego. They may drive the hot car, things like that. Uh, but it is that it also that energy of someone is using all the power they have to uh, control a situation. And someone's lost control. Uh, there's some kind of challenges or obstacles to overcome. But I do see this energy. You want someone who stays on course. You want someone faithful. I don't think you have a lot of faith in this person. So let's see what this justice is all about. Yeah, I think you know. You're going to stop feeding this person's ego. You're going to stop giving to them. Um, yeah, you got someone else here who's just right. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You got a Cancer swooping in. You have another person coming in. As you distance yourself from this other person, they could be at a distance too. Yeah. But I actually feel like you're moving away from this person who has children. Now there's obstacles, challenges, maybe just conflicts to do with it. Maybe it's just something you're not interested in. Conflicting inner, um, you know, energies here. So you have a cancer energy charging towards you here. Oh, this is someone here. Oh, yeah, you've got an emperor here. Oh, my goodness. This is someone coming in to take control. you got someone here who wants everything their way or the highway. Yeah, so I feel as once this person takes control or feels they're in control, they're going to act exactly like they did before. This is why you're not, you're going to stop talking to them. I feel like you're going to, you're the one who could be taking off in another direction, but you have a king of cups here. Somebody who's a little bit better, someone who comes in right. Uh, nice. So things are about to go in your favor. You're ending a cycle with someone. If you are going to date a couple people here, uh, back to back, I feel you want that reciprocity. If someone, this is a lesson you're learning. If someone doesn't reciprocate, they just come in when they want attention. They come in very quickly out of the blue. I feel like you're looking at that. You're looking at the details. You're very much in protective mode. Okay, you're protecting yourself.
Um, yeah, you feel like somebody is trying to trying to hold on to you and keep you single kind of energy almost is what it looks like. So I do see this other person swooping in, somebody who knows exactly what they want, somebody who wants to stay on course, King of Cups. Uh, you have an emperor making a head over heart decision here. Yeah, so I see three people. So you've got a couple people here. You have a couple people competing for your attention, but you got someone here who will fight for what they want. They know what they want. This person up here, this energy of this uh, King of Wands doesn't really know what they want. So that's why the energy was like that. Yeah, I've got three people. I see dating, courting. I see uh, some of you getting out. You, you likely haven't met this emperor energy yet. I feel like some of you could be in that transition where you're moving away from someone. Okay, you're moving away to avoid a disaster. If you don't want children, you have a person who's coming towards you that does. And I do feel like that's the energy for some of you. But you also got, I also see this as someone who's a sweet talker. Okay. I feel like you just want to keep things simple right now. But I do see this emperor swooping in to take control. Someone's coming in to take charge of the situation. I feel like it's a person that doesn't want you to get away. Uh, they don't want you to move towards another person. <laughs> there may be gossip, something they heard through the grapevine, social media. But I see dating and courting. I see a reason to celebrate. So, yeah, I think you're going to get an offer here. Yeah, I just, you know, I got to tell you, you know, you want a partner, someone compatible. You got someone here. Like I say, at first I feel this is just not compatible. Um, I mean, here you are all uh, emotionally, you're, you know, you wear your heart on your sleeve. You want reciprocity, but you know, you're, this person leaves you waiting. They only come in when they want attention. You're not getting what you need from this person. And this is when this other person comes in, you're going to look at this. I do see uh, some very positive news here. I see you um, not reciprocating to somebody, the person who rushes in and out. Uh, this is someone who's not right for you. They don't even come in right. They don't communicate right. They don't treat you right. Uh, they don't play fair. And then you've got this other person. <laughs> a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. Things going in your favor. This is someone who knows how to come in right. They want things to go in their favor. Uh, so you have a new cycle beginning. Beautiful. Yeah, you have a new person, a new beginning. I was waiting. I was like, where is this person's energy coming from? This is someone who wants to do things right. They're thinking of commitment, at least committed to staying on course. Okay. Um, where it goes, it's hard to say, but it's new. Positive energy. This is somebody with a higher vibrational energy, emotionally available and mature. Now, this other person is not. There, it, it, You know, it doesn't mean they have uh, the worst intentions. There, it's just someone who's not ready. Uh, to commit, you see. This is someone who needs to tame the beast. They actually lack the confidence, so they come in with an ego. They come in with an attitude. you got an emperor, so you've got the king. King of Wands sometimes is someone, I see sad, somebody who just wants to be free. They're a free spirit. They kind of keep you waiting. Um, I don't think you get each other. I really feel like you're just not going to be on the same page, the same lifestyle, uh, nothing like that. But you have this person making a bold move. Yeah, be bold and make the first move. That's going to be this uh, emperor, the person who's coming in. They're just I feel like they're coming in, swooping in out of the blue, out of nowhere. You may meet them through friends or family, or you may be getting out. You may be at some kind of an event or just somewhere in your community. Uh, I do see challenges and competition, people competing for your attention. This person's not going to, the emperor is not going to compete because the emperor is going to swoop right in there. Wow. Wow. Tell me about the this King of Wands energy with their strength and confidence. This is someone who's not the most confident because they they they're you know they feel they know what they want, but they rush in until they really know what they want, and then they just keep right on going. And that's where I feel like you're gonna just be really realistic. You're gonna ground yourself. You're looking out for you. You're protecting yourself. Uh, and you want someone who looks out for your best interest. You want someone who protects you and looks out for you. This person will. That king of wands, or emperor will, absolutely. This person, you know, the king of wands uh, will as well. But this is someone who just really wants to be free. This is someone who's a bit of a free spirit. They really lack the confidence. 
um, you know, to see things through, to stay on course. They're not as confident um, about commitment, and that's the, the issues there. So, yeah, you got new moon and Taurus, so you have uh, prosperity lies ahead. You're going to free yourself from this person. You're not going to let somebody keep you waiting. I feel like you're done waiting, waiting for this person to give you attention. You're taking that energy elsewhere, and I feel like you're going to be, things are about to speed up. You're going to be making a quick decision. Uh, but I feel like that emperor, it's like they just come right in. It's like literally right in front of you. I don't know if there's going to be an argument out in public in front of people uh, or what it is. Just watch out for the King of Wands sweet talking you. Um, this person's a bit of a sweet talker, okay? I feel that more than anything. So here is an energy of the commitment being tested. <laughs> yeah, so this is a little bit of a test uh, whether things will stay on course. And that's what I feel. You know this other person isn't committed. You definitely want someone who stays on course. I can see it. But, you know, it's all about who makes you feel safe and comfortable, who uh, you can rely on. Balance, spirituality, and practicality, Pisces. There you go. You've got some earthy energy in your chart. I see two fish swimming together, uh, two people balancing each other out. This is you and this other person, okay? This is a person who knows how to stay on course. They're actually thinking of marriage commitment or at least committing uh, to reciprocating and committing to uh, moving forward towards new, to expressing themselves. It will take the, the emperor does take a little time uh, to express themselves. The king of cups can be someone who's a little cautious. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> it's all good. Just be patient here with this person. All right, Scorpio, let me grab some charms here and see what the charms have to say. I see you being very balanced, spiritual, I know, with your spirituality and being very practical, full moon in Pisces. This is where you, I feel, decide to just free yourself from this waiting, okay? And, and I like that because I feel like you're, this is that bold move. This isn't yourself, this is the other person. I feel like it's going to happen quite suddenly, Either on social media or out in the community. You may be out somewhere. If you've got children, you're a single parent. They may uh, approach you when you're out in the community. But you really could meet anywhere. I see some kind of an event. So we have... I see the angels here. The angels are watching over this connection. Beautiful. I see a dragonfly. There's my favorite good omen. Yeah, this is where you know you just don't feel confident with this person. You have to, this is you taming the beast within yourself, not feeding this person e ego. You, you know uh, you don't feel comfortable with this person. The way they come towards you, they don't come in right. And it's kind of sad. They seem decent, but they just seem like they really, they come in with the attentions that they're uh, coming in to cooperate and compromise. They're ready to go down this path, but they're really not. Yeah, so there's that energy. There's that seahorse, somebody who mates for life. <laughs> uh, there's another communication. I see a lot of um, communication it's about the, you know, it's funny. It just said the birds of a feather flock together. And I have a tarot card like that. Like this person will fit in your social circle with your family, your friends. Uh, they'll fit in. This other person will not. Okay. They're a free spirit. And then I see this justice. This is the card or the uh, this little coin that has justice on it. So this is somebody who's coming in just right. And this is what you're going to get. This um, emperor coming in, um, doing things just right. I, this could lead to a commitment. I do think you're not going to make a quick decision. I feel that you're going to feel like you have to, uh, but I don't think you do. It's telling you to just kind of look back at this and, um, you know, kind of pull back a little bit and look to who you feel the most comfortable with. Because if you feel like you need to protect yourself or you, uh, you feel stuck in a situation, because this is, if you have a person who keeps you waiting, they're keeping you single, they're keeping you stuck. Okay, and I think you're starting to see the bigger picture. So if you go through these motions and you meet a couple people, uh, you're, you're likely going to get this over a period of time. Uh, I see this playing out in a matter of uh, six weeks, okay, give or take. Let me grab, where are my letters? The letters seem to have disappeared. Hmm, maybe it's not meant to be. There they are. Sorry, you guys. 
I guess I put them on my lap already. Let's grab the letters. So we have a J, a K, an S, an L, and an O. I'm going to grab one more. So there's two, in, two letters for each person and a K. So two Ks. Two Ks, a J, an S, an O, and an L. So give it a chance to play out. If you haven't met these people, you, you may already be in this situation where you're waiting for someone to give you attention uh, and then all of a sudden this other person comes in and then there becomes conflict and competition. I feel like you want to avoid conflict. I do. I feel like you're trying to be practical, trying to think of a way to avoid conflict. But um, this emperor is going to come in and take action. <laughs> It should, it should be interesting. You'll have to let me know. Take care, Pisces. Wish you the best and bye for now.